We've come up here to the northeast corner of Arizona in a place called Canyon de Chez, a place that I've never been to before and it's an absolutely beautiful area in a deep canyon and it's crazy because we're here all by ourselves which is absolutely amazing. I'm canyon and canyon Chelly uh, Chelly and it is epic What here. the f- So beautiful and I'm all by myself. <laughs> There's nobody else here. Hey, it's Brendan Benson. <laughs> What's up buddy? What's going on guys? We come up here, uh, Brendan kind of called us up and was wanting to come out to a place that uh, was kind of off the, out of the way a little bit. So here we are. Dressed like bananas <laughs> in the snow. So now we're dressed like bananas in the snow. It's getting ready to be sunset, the sunset behind us. So I'm um, not sure what we're gonna get here. Brendan's here to test out his 70 to 200. And uh, yeah, just gonna see what happens. All right guys, so I think I found my composition for Blue Hour. What we're doing is uh, I'm gonna wait until the sun goes down and try and catch this kind of with those colors in the background uh, reflecting off of the snow and off of the red rocks. It's just, like I said, just way too harsh. Uh, the conditions aren't very good as far as the, the sky. There's no clouds or anything like that. So what I'm gonna wait for is kind of that, that reflected light kind of coming down onto the snow, onto the red rocks and uh, I don't have to worry about being harsh light or anything like that. So, but I found a nice little composition here with this tree. Uh, I'm gonna put that down kind of in the bottom uh, left third of the frame here and kind of bring a little bit of foreground interest. And then spider rock here was gonna be my subject. And uh, I think it's gonna look really nice here in blue hours. So now it's just waiting. All right, so the sun just went down. We're getting some really nice color here. And what I've done is I've kind of dropped my tripod down a little bit because uh, I want to use this bush here kind of on the left third of my frame as some foreground. The problem is down below spider rock down there, there's a lot of brush and a lot of kind of darker colors. So what I've had to do is kind of drop down a little bit and change my perspective, get low enough to where behind the bush or behind this little mini tree here is white snow. That way it creates a little bit more depth, a little bit more separation, I mean, uh, by this little tree in the foreground here. So. Uh, by dropping down just a little bit, it just improves that photo just a little bit more. And then now the color here is coming, uh, really beautiful, uh, 24 millimeters, and uh, yeah, just absolutely outstanding. So I finally found something here that I like and uh, it is a composition with some rock formations in the foreground and uh, they shape like a V and then I have set up a spider rock right there in the center and um, the snow in the foreground, they, it's, I mean there's no light from this side right now but uh, it still looks pretty nice so um, I hope it works out. I got cold. <laughs> I heard that car start up a few times. Right, only once. Yeah, only I only once. started it once. It was mine that started up like four times last night. So car camping at 21 degrees Fahrenheit is something that I'm not used to. It was cold. I think I started up the truck to warm up like, I think three times last night. Uh, once Chris woke me up because it was really cold. So, um, all right guys, we have a little bit of clouds in the sky. Not very much. I'm not really, uh, too confident that we're gonna have great conditions, but hopefully a little bit of good light coming into the canyon because the sun's not gonna set or rise quite behind us. So yeah, we're gonna walk down to the same area and see what we can find. All right guys, well I've set up my first composition for the morning. Uh, I put my tripod in kind of this weird angle because I wanted to get this rock that's right here on the other side of the wall as my foreground. And uh, right in the mid ground there is my subject, which is that spider rock. And uh, right now there's a little bit of color in the sky, which is really nice. I'm taking a couple of shots. Uh, unfortunately, I'm having a focus stack, which is kind of annoying, but 
Uh, just to make sure I got everything sharp, I'm gonna do it. I may not need it later. I may decide that on the computer, you know, that, that it's, it's sharp enough. But I just wanna make sure that I have it so I am focus stacking. And then um, right now, just waiting for the light to come up. We think that the light's gonna come through this canyon here and uh, light up the side of this spider rock, which is what we're hoping for. And um, also, by the way, by the time you guys see this video, we will be on the BVS Arizona workshop. So make sure to stay tuned for the next couple of videos for that. Uh, it's gonna be epic. We're going to White Pocket, Alstrom Point, and Sedona, so it's gonna be awesome. So I'm here on the, right on the edge of the canyon and what I saw from uh, a little bit farther away was that the snow leaves beautiful patterns here in patches. Uh, it's very patchy so you can kind of follow the white, white parts and uh, follow the ridge line and that will lead you into the center of the valley down there with these beautiful cottonwood trees. And also the sky is very pretty this way. Uh, it was very harsh the other way and uh, sometimes I have uh, I struggle with uh, harsh lights in the morning with uh, my, my filters. I think I would have to bracket to, uh, to get a beautiful shot if I want to include the sky. So I, uh, I just try it this way. What you got going on over there? I can't remember where I set up a photo yesterday. It... This shouldn't be this hard. There's footprints. I should just be able to follow myself. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we didn't get exactly what we wanted. Uh, the sun kind of came up and the shadows weren't, uh, it didn't come up in the right spot through the canyon. So I think we still got a couple of good shots. I got a sun star. I think Chris even got a sun star. I think Brandon got a sun star. So uh, got some nice, <laughs> got some nice light and everything. But um, so stay tuned for the next couple of videos. We're gonna be on the BVS workshop. So say goodbye to Brandon here. We'll see him in a video or two. Bye-bye, bye to Chris. Bye. And we'll see you guys on the next one, bye.